Hello, uh, this is a re-recording of my talk uh, for the Academic Symposium in 2018 for the Australian Go Congress. So just an introduction, who am I? Well, I'm a software engineer um, teaching mathematics uh, now and also doing uh, research. And um, I started to play Go in around 2014 uh, under the influence of the famous Hikaru no Go uh, series. This is the place in Japan. Um, this is a liberal arts college and we teach uh, only in English. And the topic I um, want to talk about is uh, describing a, a new course uh, in, in development, uh, but uh, we will uh, do this for the very first time in the next winter semester. So what I'm going to talk about in this talk is the rationale for the course. It's just the idea of um, how to integrate Go in a mathematics computing uh, curriculum. So what's the ultimate goal? Well, um, you know, we are teachers and we want to teach students to think for themselves. And um, so my best guess, best attempt is to actually teach mathematics because that's an artificial language for describing the word in our uh, ideas precisely. And also it makes complex problems easier to handle. So it's all very nice, except that uh, most people simply do not like uh, the subject. And it's, this is something I call a cultural disaster, and it's a very uh, complicated issue. So here I would like to mention only one aspect of it, and that is that so often we are giving solutions to problems uh, that students simply don't have. So that, you know, uh, cuts the motivation uh, down very much. So that's what... The symptoms we had, the interest in mathematics courses, when it's required, of course, we have many students, but a course with the usual content cannot easily change their experience. And when it's an elective course, when we have few students, uh, typically exchange or graduating students, uh, who already somehow made this uh, transition, had this insight that actually this is useful uh, and interesting for them. So the problem is traditional mathematics fails to attract the students. So programming works to some extent um, since computational problem solving and coding is, can be uh, quite uh, compulsive. And we have a successful uh, course that teaches functional uh, programming. But again, the problem is that this works like an elective uh, mathematics course that well, only those who are uh, somehow really interested in programming uh, come. At the same time, I had a different problem uh, thinking about uh, when and how should I teach my kids uh, goal. And of course, this is a, a topic that has been uh, researched a lot. Um, and um, the, the simple uh, story would be that these two problems, math education and raising kids, collided in my head. Then the idea of the course escalated very quickly. Um, no, it didn't. Um, so there is one thing missing. Uh, we tend to say that learning the game of Go is worth taking an advanced mathematics course. And... Um, Probably we base this on that many uh, people from mathematics and um, programming, they, they uh, play the game. But, but where is the evidence? What does this mean actually? Is it just the size of the mental effort? Or, or could there be a way uh, to transfer knowledge between Go and, and mathematics? And if you look at it, well, it's not really, because mathematics is a symbolic language and Go is not. So it doesn't look too good first. But if you enter uh, AI in the picture, and that's another important uh, topic, and I don't have to recall uh, these dramatic events and uh, very interesting uh, games, so I can just go straight to uh, saying that, well, I consider uh, artificial intelligence as a mirror for human intelligence. We, you know, we look into the mirror and we sort of see uh, ourselves, because many... Um, Artificial intelligence algorithm, they 
uh, sort of follow what we think how natural intelligence uh, works so well looking at AI so we, we can improve our thinking too and also well it's important to mention that there are some AI techniques when there is just no correspondence for example a Monte Carlo tree search um, we don't do anything like that so uh, what's the level uh, where uh, mathematics and, and, and Go uh, meet and that's, um, I should say, that's on the level of, of metacognition, thinking about thinking and understanding, understanding. So what do I mean uh, by that? Well, here we have two uh, problems. Well, like they look completely different. Here's a Tsumego, um and here's a mathematics uh, problem working with logarithms. So um, what's common in, in, in these? If you look at uh, the Tsumago, well, it's a, it's a graph search. That's the technical term uh, for that. When we play it out in our head, well, basically, we just move from one position to the other. And if you look at how to solve uh, this simple uh, simplification problem, well, the way we play it out in our head, it's like it's another graph search. We just um, choose different operations. So that's... Uh, um, the parallel between the natural and the artificial intelligence, that classical search algorithms, that's what we do. We choose from a finite set of operations repeatedly in order to get closer to a solution. That's the systematic conscious step-by-step -step thinking. Also, um, when after practice, uh, we can just you know see the right way without thinking about it too much. So that's the, the neural networks uh, way of... Uh, thinking. There was another source uh, for ideas and inspiration for designing the course is that uh, this talk was given um, at the International Goal Symposium in 2012 and it's about designing a, a college uh, goal course and interestingly that's, um, that's a course uh, for um, first year students and it's a writing course and uh, that fits very well into the metacognition uh, theme as well because while the students can uh, actually analyze their games and they can they can write about their development so that's a self-reflection as well and this course uh, has been running for three decades so it's um, it's really a well established way of teaching the game and also I have previous work uh, I did uh, an experimental session for with um, high school students um, and the idea was to sort of teach them um, the, the classical uh, traditional mathematics mathematical heuristics uh, but that's not that easy to do directly so I decided that well we can uh, actually do the same thing when solving uh, Go problems and of course the, the conclusion was really that that in Go it is easier to point to the cognitive uh, processes compared to mathematics where you know it's a lot more is, is going on go is, is is even more abstract in that sense so here's the result of thinking as the um, design course and um, as I said it will have its first semester in next uh, year early starting in January and um, well I can't uh, give the full uh, description of the course um, here is the, the website for it and you can find the proposal and the detailed syllabus and the also assessment details and the draft paper and the research poster. But uh, to show something, uh, we can quickly go through the, the course schedule. And um, as you can see, it really starts with uh, playing. So the idea is that while we will play in the uh, classroom and we will talk about uh, the mathematics and uh, and the computing side of it just after and only after um, the questions arise so it's like well how to measure progress in learning how to rank players and uh, well we can talk a lot about probability theory and the and the rating systems and then um, when solving uh, go puzzles or just playing well 
how to how to find a solution for a Go puzzle. Well, we can introduce the a game tree representation and the and also the classic minimax algorithm. And then uh, again, a natural question that well, if it's that easy to do by computer, what's the what's the problem? Well, the problem is the computational complexity, and um, that brings in uh, enumerative combinatorics as well and um, symmetry also as a compression tool and after that we can go to the newer techniques uh, statistical methods and probabilistic sampling and um, in the end we can talk about uh, neural networks and the actual uh, architecture of, of AlphaGo and um, we are also planning to uh, explore uh, the games nearby uh, Go um, because that might be interesting as well. So as a summary, uh, I can say that well, um, automated thinking has to be understood. Uh, it's a very important to topic, both its technical details and its impact. And uh, we have trouble with uh, mathematics and it has to break out from traditional lecturing style because that just doesn't work anymore. And the interesting question is then how knowledge gained uh, from different areas of study uh, can be uh, synthesized and integrated. And I think Go is in a unique uh, position to facilitate uh, these, and we expect that this course will be an efficient uh, and pleasant gateway to the study of more serious topics in AI versus natural intelligence. So no conclusion yet. Uh, please ask me again in March uh, 2019, when the first uh, semester of this course will be uh, finished. Thank you very much.